Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my June Pop Sugar Must Have unboxing. So I got my box in the mail today. Woohoo! And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and show you guys what I got in it and how much everything costs. If you don't know, Pop Sugar Must Have boxes are about $39.99 a month and they're just a monthly subscription service. They're more of a lifestyle box, so you get a random assortment of stuff. It's not just like beauty products. Um, and this is actually going to be my last box because I decided I needed to save a little bit of money and $40 is kind of expensive for a monthly subscription service. So I will be transferring over to Ipsy, which is only $10 a month, and I got that in the mail as well today. So I will do that unboxing next. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so on top, as always, they have their um, guide to what you got. So as I read through, I can kind of see what I got and how much it costs and let you guys know that as well. The first thing that I see in the box, and part of the reason why the box was so heavy this month, is a book, and it is The One and Only by Emily Giffen. And apparently she's a New York Times bestselling author. I've never really heard about her, but um, the card says that it's a novel of an unlikely romance and lifelong friends set against the backdrop of Texas football. And it's usually suggested retail $28. So I've been actually meaning to go to the library and I keep putting it off, but I've been looking for some summer reads. So this one might be one of the ones on my list to start. So that's exciting. And it is a hardcover, by the way. So it's nice and sturdy, which is always, I prefer hardcovers to um, paperbacks. So that's exciting. The next thing that I see is in this bag, and it is the Turkish tea, the Turkish towel. So according to the card, this is a beach towel, and it acts as a lightweight beach towel by day and a glam wrap by night. Um, and it is $32 usually, and it's in the basic breeze sorbet color. So if I unroll it here, I really like the color of this. Mint green is one of my favorites, and this is like a variation, slightly darker mint green. but. So it's got little tassels on the edges, and it's just white and kind of teal, mint green colored striped. Um, and it's a decent size. I'm really curious to see how well it, it will absorb water, like if you actually take it as a beach towel. But it's really cute, and I will definitely use that. So the next thing that I see in the box that was in this little cardboard container so it wouldn't get crushed is one potato, two potato, kettle potato chips. And this is in the barbecue, Hawaiian barbecue flavor. Um, and these usually retail for $2. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, but I was actually just thinking that I was really hungry and we don't have any snacks, so this works out pretty well for me. Oh, they are made with all natural ingredients, and they're really pretty good. They taste just like any regular barbecue chips. I'm not really, you know, all that wowed by them, but they're pretty tasty. I mean, I would eat them, so I will definitely be eating those as a snack. All right, so... This is the Sakawan Stockholm Body Lotion in Shiny Citrus. It says citrus, but it doesn't have a very strong scent. It smells very faintly of some sort of a citrus type fruit, but it's not very strongly scented. It's kind of just a very gentle fragrance. So if you wanted to wear it with other things, I'm sure it would work just fine. And it sinks into the skin pretty fast. It's not like greasy or anything, which I always prefer. And this lotion usually retails for $24, so that will definitely get some use. I like that it's not anything too intensely citrus because I don't really like citrus citrus scents that much. Next I see are these, I think they're bracelets? Oh no, they're hair ties and headbands. So they're Lolly's hair, hair ties and headbands. These are usually $8. They're made from swimwear fabric and they'll look cute on your wrist because they've got like these little metal straps. So there's one that's like a black and white and army green color, a gray one and a black one. I feel like if you had them on your wrist, they wouldn't be too, like they wouldn't leave marks or anything. They would still look kind of cute and be comfortable. So I always tend to keep um, hair ties on my wrists so that I have them because I tend to put my hair back a lot of times. I'm really kind of not sure how they will work in the hair because they're not very stretchy, which is kind of a pain. But... They seem like they'll hold okay. I don't think they would be like super secure, but I think they'll be okay and they're kind of cute as an accessory on the wrist. The last actual tangible item is 12 individually wrapped quality wet wipes. And they are You Smell Lemon Wet Wipes. So it's just like a box like this that pushes open and they're in there. These are normally $6 and they're just supposed to be like antibacterial type wipes, so I guess these would be good for the summer if you are, um, you know, 
having a picnic or you're out and about during the summer and you just want a wipe to wipe off your hands or something like that. The last thing in the box for this month was a Native Union $15 gift card. So I've never heard of Native Union before, but it looks like they're more of a digital type company. So, so in this pamphlet, it has things like a portable Bluetooth speaker, um, a personal speakerphone and speaker, um, a two-in-one cable and battery solution, and things of that nature. Um, iPad accessories smartphone cable, things like that. So I might have to give this website a look. I don't know that this is stuff that I would necessarily need, but depending on how their prices are, it might be something worth looking into. So they gave a voucher code and $15 towards that website. All right, and that is it for my June Pop Sugar Must Have unboxing. I know they had a summer box as well that I didn't sign up for that had some other things, but I really liked this month's box. It had a lot of really cool stuff in it and stuff that I will definitely get some use out of. In total, out of paying $39.99, I ended up getting a retail value of the actual stuff of $154, and then there was also the $15 gift card towards the Native Union website. So it's definitely a good value of stuff you get in this box. Um, at some point, I will probably go back and sign back up and get subscribed to it again, but just for now, I think I need to save a little bit of money and probably shouldn't be gaining more stuff. I'm actually going to probably be moving apartments here in the next couple months, so I definitely don't need more stuff to move. So, um, I really enjoy this box, though. If you have the money to spend on it, and if this is something that you'd be interested in, I would definitely subscribe for it. It's got some really cool stuff in it that I would never check out otherwise. So, um, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.